Hi there, my name is Mark and I'm part of the customer care team here at eWay. Today, I will be taking you through our recommended configuration for our Magento One module. Feel free to modify any settings we go over today as required to make your store your own. For the purposes of this video, we'll be skipping the install steps and jumping right into the configuration. If you have not yet installed the module, there will be a link below you can follow before proceeding. As we go through, I will be configuring my own demo Magento store with the same settings, so you can follow along. And with that, let's dive right in. To access the module settings, we will need to be logged into the Magento admin area. We can then navigate to the module by hovering over the system tab here, and then selecting the configuration option, which is at the bottom of the drop down menu. On the left side panel, we can now see an option for payment methods, which we'll now click on. This will take us to a list of our available payment solutions. We'll scroll through these until we find the option for eWay Rapid 3.1, which you can see here. The very first setting we'll want to adjust is the drop down for enable this solution. We want to ensure this is set to yes. Otherwise, the eWay extension is not active and won't show in our checkout. Next up is the mode option. As you can see, this can be switched between live and sandbox. As we're going for a quick setup to start taking payments, I'll have this in live mode, but if you were wanting to do some testing in your store first before going live, you can set this to sandbox. Be aware that if you are intending to use the sandbox for testing, your live account API credentials won't work. Instead, you would need the API details from a sandbox account. A guide on how to set one of these up can be found in the links below. From here, we're going to enter in the Rapid API credentials. We can net these from our eWay account. Now, I have already logged into my eWay account to make this easier, but if you are not yet logged in, please do so now. Once logged in, we'll go into the My Account tab found here along the top, and then click on the API key option. This will bring us to the account's Rapid API details. For Magento, we are going to need a few different details from this page, which we can collect now. Firstly, we'll grab the Rapid API key. As you can see, this is already displayed, so all we need to do is copy this onto the clipboard, either by using the Copy to Clipboard button here, or by highlighting the key and then using the copy function of our computer. We can now paste this onto our Magento module configuration page in the Live API key field. If we were using our sandbox details, we will place them into the corresponding sandbox fields, which you can see just down here. We can now do the same for the password. You will notice the password is masked, so we are first going to need to generate a new password, which you can do by using this button here. Now from the pop-up, we can see that the existing API password will be replaced. If you believe you're using the API password in another platform and don't want to risk stopping that from functioning, at this point, I'd recommend pausing the video and reviewing the guide linked below on how to manually generate an API key and password so as to not affect the existing credentials. For my account, I'm going to proceed with this step and copy the password much like we did with the API key. Now that we have the API password, we will again paste this into the corresponding field in Magento. Now, moving back to the eWay account, we'll next copy the client side encryption key. And once more, just paste that back into Magento. Now, lastly, we're going to grab the Pay Now button Public API Key, also known simply as the Public API Key. Once more, we just paste that into Magento. We've now gathered the required API credentials. These credentials we've just entered will tell eWay which account to process payments through when your store submits them. Now, we'll move on to the basic settings section. As you can see, we can choose the payment action, which we'll set to authorize and capture. This way, we'll be taking payments when customers go to buy something. If you would prefer to manually review orders, either to check stock levels or custom order details prior to capturing the funds, you can set this to authorize only. Be aware, this would require you to manually complete the payments in Magento later. Now, next up is the connection type. From this dropdown, as you can see, there is a few options available. Since we're going for a quick setup on eWay's recommended settings, we'll just cover our secured field solution, but you are welcome to check out the other options in the extended guide. 
Secured field keeps the customers on your page, but allows the use of hosted eWay fields to capture the card data, meaning your customer's card information stays out of your environment. The next settings will dictate how the secure fields behave in our checkout. We will set the autocomplete option to yes, which allows customers to use their browser's autofill capabilities and stored card details to speed up their own checkout time. We'll also set the masked values to yes, so that once the customer has entered their details into the field, they will then be masked on the checkout page. Moving on, we can see the customer's settings section. As this is a quick setup guide, we'll just leave these values on their default settings. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about what each of these settings do, and to help you decide how you may like to modify them, please review the expanded guide below this video. We'll do the same now for the advanced settings section, with the exception of the debug option, which is found at the bottom of the advanced settings section. We will ensure that this option is set to yes. This way, our module outputs information to the Magento logs, which can help identify issues in cases of errors. Once again, a more detailed explanation of what the other fields in the advanced settings sections does can be found below this video guide. Lastly, we'll see this section for the eWay Rapid 3.1. We will set our setting for the enabled option to yes, otherwise the eWay payment option will not be displayed in the checkout. For the rest of these settings, we will leave them as is. Once done, we'll click on the save config option, which is in the banner along the top of the page, and wait for confirmation, which we can now see here along the top of the page. Now that the settings have been saved to our module, we'll need to clear our stores cache to make sure the settings are properly updated. To do this, We'll go to the system tab along the top here again and click on the case management option from the list of options. Then once they're on the right here, we'll click on the flush Magento cache button. Now this will take a few seconds depending on the size of the cache and once completed, we'll see a confirmation pop up which you should see shortly on my page now and there we go. And that's it. We now have the eWay service available as a payment option in the checkout. If you've been following along in your own store, we would now recommend going through your website as if you were a customer and running a few tests, either with your own live card or using our test credit card details, which will be linked below, to ensure your store is functioning correctly. Now you've watched our quick setup guide, you are more than welcome to review the more in-depth guide, which goes over the rest of the settings in a bit more detail. If you have any questions, please reach out to us by calling us on 1-800-245570 or emailing support at eway.com.au. Now that's all for this video, but feel free to check out our other guides in the eWay knowledge base found at go.eway.io.